Hi guys, as you can see, we are here at the magical place. It's called Sedona and this is Red Rock behind me. And as you can see, it's so beautiful and peaceful that I really just want to stay here. When I was watching uh, Pocahontas cartoon when I was a little kid, I was always picturing places like this and now I see that they're actually real. They exist. and. It's so beautiful out here, especially at the sunset. So if you do come here, don't miss the sunset. And this is one of the best places. I think it, I believe it's called Cathedral Rock. I think it's one of the most beautiful places to take photos. And the sunset here is at this time, we are in April, it's at 6.45. So I originally came to Phoenix and it's about two hours drive from Phoenix to here and I do suggest that you stay overnight because the city center is really beautiful as well. Hi guys, we're here at the West Fork of the Oak Creek Trail. It's a beautiful hiking, it's all flat and if you're in a good shape you can do it in about one hour and 50 minutes. If not, it's about two hours, two hours and a half. If you do it all, you're gonna cross the river 26 times so you can, it's very adventurous and I would really highly recommend it if you come here to Sedona. I really fell in love with Sedona even before knowing all about it. So let's talk a little bit about Sedona. So you probably think where the name comes from and it, it's named after this beautiful lady whose husband wanted to name the town after her. So we have a, there's a lot of beautiful things in Sedona but I would say the main things are these beautiful rocks that you see behind and there are some breathtaking views but the main reason why a lot of people come to Sedona is because they say that there's a vortex energy all around us so what is vortex energy it's the positivity that comes it's the places where you feel the earth energy the most and even though the whole Sedona is kind of vortex there are four main points I visited yesterday Cathedral Rock, which is one of them, and all the points have either feminine or masculine energy, or it's a combination of two with balance, and they all project different things to you. So you can get more self-confidence, motivation, and things like that. Even if you don't believe in those things, I promise you that if you visit at least one of those places, you're gonna come back relaxed and feeling so good, so peaceful, that you're gonna really enjoy. So, another thing about the most guys that are supposed to spend way too much time on computers, on devices, on screen. Really, this is so relaxing. It's so good for your body and soul and for everything. So, to continue our story about Sedona, in the 50s, it was it started to become so popular. It became like a vacation place, a retirement place, so the population started building up. Right now, we have about 10,000 uh, people living in the Sedona officially. There are a lot of beautiful houses, a lot of beautiful hikes. It's most famous for the hikes. But even if you're not a hiker, you can still find some places where you can take nice pictures and enjoy the view. I, <laughs> I think one of the most interesting thing I tried here, which I know is not a local thing, but I tried the cactus flies and they were really delicious. I enjoyed them. So I would say go and try that. And one of the most beautiful, like everyone that knows me knows how much I love to drink coffee. So I finally found a beautiful spot. And I'm not saying this as an ad, but you should go there. It's called the Creekside Coffee, Creekside, Creekside Cafe, where you can sit, drink your coffee, and enjoy the beautiful view of the Red Rock. Here we are at the Canyon Retreat called Thank You Lodge. It's actually the roof of the lodge, which exists place very nationally and internationally with lots of famous guests including President Hoover, Clark Gable and so, Clark Gable 
actually even celebrated his anniversary here. So this is why this place is very famous. But now we only see the ruins, so you can check around.